And the first card you've got is the dagger. So you've got fear, worries, and there's some kind of tense situation that you are involved in. And it seems like, you know, the knives are out. So there's a lot of conflict that you're going through at this particular time. You've got the whale over here, which says great worry over nothing. So maybe this is a, um, you know, a storm in a teacup kind of situation. Uh, it might just all blow over. So you're worried about nothing, it says there. The finger card is says warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So there's some kind of problem coming up that's going to stress you out quite a bit, but it's something that will, you know, be nothing in particular. So you are worried about a situation and it seems like there is some kind of problem that might be coming up, uh, but it, it's not as bad as you think it's going to be. So in the past, you've had temporary problems. You've got the clouds over there. So some kind of issues that you've been dealing with recently and you've been waiting for news about or a package or a letter. So there's some kind of issue um, problem and you're waiting for some kind of solution to come in over there with the bird perched. So this is probably why you're in some kind of high anxiety state at the moment now going to the future success uh, assured with good plans and hard work ahead so um i think it seems, it seems like things are all going to uh, you know blow over and it's all going to settle down and you know things are going to uh, improve for you there you've got uh, success coming in but you also need to make some good plans and opportunities are waiting for you you've got the door so things are about to come to success for you um you know doors are opening uh, so don't be so stressed out try and relax and don't be anxious whatever this problem is whatever this issue is that you're dealing with will blow over and you know, you're, you're just stressing out far too much because it's all going to be you find out that it's nothing in particular or it will just resolve itself and you know success is coming for you new opportunities on the horizon for you there so those are the energies for that week so at the bottom of the deck you've got the star card uh the six of swords the king of swords and you've got the seven of vessels um so it looks like um you know there might have been some options that are available to you you're needing you have to do something and you are procrastinating about doing it or, or making a decision about whatever it is you want to do. There's a lot of options available there for you there. You can see all those cups are filled with something. Uh, and you're considering a lot of possibilities. That's, uh, you know, it's all going on in your head. Uh, you haven't made a firm decision. Uh, you're thinking outside the box. So you're trying to make up your mind about what you want to do. Maybe you're trying to find a new career path or a new um, uh, life path, really. And you're, you know, you're looking at all your options and all things that are available to you, but you haven't settled on one particular thing and you're procrastinating. Maybe you're not finishing projects uh, in, in a timely matter and, uh, you know, you're... Um, it doesn't seem like you have a bit of motivation with this particular card, the Seven of Cups. So you're all over the place there, and maybe that motivation is a bit lacking over there. You've got the King of Swords over there, so it's time for you to make a decision uh, about what you want. That King of Swords is saying that Seven of Swords is you know, irritates the king of, of um, the seven of cups irritates the king of swords. So a decision will need to be made. And it looks like you will make a decision about what is going on. All this procrastination, uh, it seems like you're going to take a stand and make a decision over there. Now, it, whatever this decision is that you make will allow you to move away from any kind of confusion that you've been going through, any kind of problems or conflicts that you're going through. It's going to allow you to move away from it. Maybe you're, um, you know, deliberating over it, um, but you will make a decision. And it seems like you are going to, once you make the decision, you will settle down. All that, uh, you know, all those thoughts that are going through your head, all the confusion, all the uh, stress and anxiety that you're going through is going to uh, leave. Um, you know, maybe the anxiety is coming in because you need to make the decision but once you make it once you consider your options and the only way you can do that is really to look at into each and each option that you have available to you and uh, research it for one thing and the other thing is uh you know have a firm plan in place this is very very important um and uh be proactive so don't procrastinate in other words also there's a need for you to get rid of all those, uh, you know, any kind of negative emotions that you've got. You've got to emptying out these vessels over here and find a direction. There's the star in the background over there. And you might need to be, you know, pray for some divine guidance to get you out of the situation of conflict. Um, that's whatever's going on in your head. Uh, you need to, um, you know, think about it very, very clearly. Now you've got seven stars here and a main star in the background there. And it seems like, uh, you know, 
uh, there might be an alternative solution to your problem. So although you've got all these options with the seven of cups, there may be seven, there's seven options that you're dealing with. There's one that's going to shine through or there's uh, an option that you didn't consider before. And so maybe you need to think about that in order to, for you to find your direction. You can see this is the brightest star there or the biggest star there. So there's some kind of uh, decision you have to make and it might be not what you were considering before. So maybe all these options that you're thinking about um, that are confusing you or causing you to procrastinate uh, is not the direction in which you were supposed to go. There's something else that you need to consider doing as well. And you need to stop being negative about it. Be positive and, um, you know, this is about throwing things out, finding your way, finding your path. And you will be guided as well as to what to do. So what's coming up for you? You've got the three of vessels over there. So this is about celebrating success. Uh, this is even about getting together with friends. Maybe there is going to be some kind of information that comes in from a friend that's going to allow you to make a decision. There's an advice coming in. You can see this woman's was part of the celebration, but now she's taking her cup and moving away. It's almost as though, you know, you received uh, advice from friends or people around you that support you and you're getting good advice and now you're taking it and moving on to make a decision. So um, there is something maybe you need to speak to some friends or people around you. You know, it it might not be even related to the subject uh, or that you're dealing with, but they might give you a different way of looking at things. And there's some kind of inspiration that comes in or some kind of advi advice that comes in that allows you to make a decision and move on. You s you've got the strength card over here, so you will be able to sort through this problem. The strength card shows their success on your part. It is your card. Uh, you know, you need to calm those anxieties down. You can see she's calming this lion down. So calm that uh, the stress within you down and that is how you will think clearly. So you need to make a logical decision, but it will come from, uh, you know, from somebody around you uh, or friends around you will help you make that decision. Somebody's going to say something to you uh, that's going to allow you or they're going to give you some advice that's going to allow you to make this decision. And, you know, you need to calm that anxiety down, get on top of all that stress that you're going through and uh, make a very logical decision. You've got the Page of Swords, so it seems like you've heard some kind of news, um, you know, um, that has stirred up all these issues. It was, uh, the news may have been upsetting, but it certainly, um, you know, caused uh, a lot of motion there. You've got the chariot there. Uh, and this is, again, about making a decision, taking a stand. So you are, you can see here, it might be even a decision about moving on, uh, you know, relocating or uh, even, um, you know, changing jobs or changing home. Uh, this is the card of motion. It's even a, a decision about travel. But you've got these two horses going in two different directions. So you are in two minds about whether what you want to do. So there might be an option available to you there or options available and you're not quite sure what you want to do. It might be uh, something that involves overseas travel because the chariot uh, implies something overseas as well. And you seem to have received some kind of news, maybe even an invitation uh, to go and maybe work because you've got the pentacle over there on that chariot card. So there might be an overseas uh, a job that has come in for you and you're trying to make a decision about that. And maybe this is what's causing all that anxiety here. And discussing it with people around you is going to be something that you need to do to make that decision. You are thinking of doing some further study. This hermit also seems to imply travel as well because he's walking through these mountains. There's a decision in the background over there. And his eyes are closed, so he's not really quite seeing uh, a solution to the problem over there. Uh, the Hermit card uh, also shows, you know, a lot of focus on your work, focus on your career as well. That's where your your mind has been on your money, your career, jo your job, and you are trying to make that decision. So this could be a home move. This could be even relocating to another country to the to do to do the same job or to do another job. Um, but you're trying to make uh, a decision with regards to money because of that pentacle being on that card. Now, going into the future, it looks like you are going to make a brand new start. So there's a, that, that decision or relocation or a new job that's starting up for you. And it seems like you are going to start off refresh with that full card over there. So you will make a decision. So whatever is going on, make sure you do your research. Be very thorough. And it looks like you're ending in an old situation and you're moving on. So you're leaving behind this whatever it is you're, you're involved in right now. And you're about to make that big transition or that big move. Uh, you've got the death card over here. So something big coming in, a big change coming in for you there. Uh, and you're doing that simply because there's been a lot of conflict and a lot of problems. Uh, you know, and you can see in this five of swords, it's, it's like he's taking the swords and walking away. He's leaving behind all these people 
uh, that have st caused a lot of problems. He's turned his back and he's moving on. So it seems like wherever you are at, there has been a lot of problems, a lot of things going on behind your back. Uh, there's been a lot of arguments or fighting that has been going on. And it seems like you're taking your ideas, um, your intellectual um, information, whatever learning you had, uh, your skills rather, and you are moving on with this Five of Swords due to the conflict. And with that death card, you are cutting your ties. You are ending that old situation and you're going to be moving on. It's And here as well, this is the Ten of Swords. You felt that as though this place was uh, you know, wherever you're working at. There's been a lot of responsibilities that you've been carrying. Uh, and it's it's been a back-breaking job. You've been working very, very hard. Um, and it seems like you're going to be making a move from this situation. So you are ending it. This is the Ten of Staves. So, it, you know, there's been... Uh, a lot of people expected a lot out of you. You've been dealing with difficult people as well. But it looks like you're turning your back on them and you're going to be moving on. Now it's coming up for the, the future. You've got seven of staves, six of pentacles and knight of pentacles. So, uh, you know, you've been trying to sort things out one at a time. It, it seems like, uh, you know, every time you sort one thing out, something else crops up. Everybody seems to be against you as well. So they're giving you a lot of hassles and you're having to defend yourself. You're having to stand up for things. You're having to work through difficult situations and deal with difficult people as well. But you're very determined. You can see this man's face looks pretty determined. And, you you know, you are going to be able to stand up against uh, all these problems that come your way. There's this uh, new job that is coming in for you over there. And, you you know, it's you're weighing your options. It looks like it's going to be giving you a lot more money as well. At the moment, it's almost as though, you know, you're juggling finances as well. Um, there'll be legal papers that you will be signing as well, uh, but it certainly it's going to bring in a lot more coin and you're going to be working pretty hard at this job. You can see him taking his coin and moving on. Things are a little bit slow as far as this new job coming in, uh, but it will come in for you and it looks like it's going to generate a lot more money, but there will be a lot of work that you will, uh, you will need to do for it. So it's going to be a hard work uh, to get, you know, um, it's going to be a long, long hours, hard work, but it's definitely going to generate more coin. So you will be signing new, new contracts for that as well. You've got the scale over there. So it seems like whatever you are doing at the moment, you're not happy at all in it. Uh, and, you know, the dilemma is whether or not to move. And it seems like you are going to make that fresh start with that full card there. Okay, and this job also might involve a lot more travel because you've got that knight on the horse over there. So there might be a lot of travel that is associated with it. But I think a lot less responsibilities uh, than you've been dealing with at the moment. And a lot less conflict as well. So you've got the temptation card. At this card, you will be tempted to take a risk or spend money you cannot afford. Or you may become attracted to a person who is married or committed. Avoid temptation at this point. So I think that says it all, really. Uh, just be careful on how you proceed. Tread very, very carefully. Uh, and don't give in. Don't succumb to temptation. Make sure you're watching those finances. So you've got the cycles card over here. So at this time, the cycle of your life is bringing sudden change. Uh, disappointment or famine, know that this is about to change for the better, so be prepared. So you've been going through a very thorny situation. You've got a lot of cactus plant over there, and you've been walking through a lot of cactus, so there's a lot of swords as well, dealing with a lot of conflict, uh, you know, uh, harsh words, maybe criticism, uh, um, and a lot of verbal, uh, almost a verbal abuse kind of situation going on there. Um, but you're getting through it, and you will emerge from it. So that's about to end. And the last card is waste. You can afford, you cannot afford to waste your um, you cannot afford to create waste in your life. Take nothing for granted because you could experience famine or due to carelessness, example, with money, health, or time. So like I said, there are two cards that are saying that, you know, you need to conserve all your resources, look after your finances very carefully, and don't overspend, especially during this uh, festive period. Don't indulge in, um, you know, don't buy very expensive things or don't go overboard as far as spending goes. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot. And the first card is the King of Gabriel, which is your card, really. Keep your eyes on the big picture and leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. So you are taking control of situations. You might be uh, starting this new project or this new job, and it's going to be a position of authority as well. And like I said, uh, there might be some um, travel that's involved with that King of Gabriel as well. Uh, definitely a position of uh, greater authority. Uh, and, you know, you can sit back because a lot more people are going to be doing the work and you are more, um, you know, it's almost like a taking on a consultant role of some sort over there. But definitely in charge of managing uh, a project. 
So you've got the nine of Ariel over here, and this is the nine of Pentacles. So this is good. So whatever this job is, it's definitely going to bring in the money there. Uh, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to success. A love for love. Beautiful things in life. So although you get a job that's going to be paying you really, really well, it seems... Well, the sign of nine of Ariel is talking about a lot of money coming in, a lot of independence and recognition. Uh, and this job is really good because there's not, the hours are not so bad and you can sit down and give instructions, really. Um, the rest of the cards are saying, you know, just watch out. Don't overspend just because you're earning better at the moment. Uh, so just be a bit uh, prudent in how you spend money. And the six of Gabriel is congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move to the next project, awards, scholarships, and promotions. So six of Gabriel is the uh, six of rods. And this is showing also travel. So this job involves a lot of travel, communication, working with people that are foreign to you, but there's also victory. So although you've been through all these problems where you've been carrying this ten of rods over here the six of rods is showing that there is success after all of this, this hard work and doors will start opening for you there so a success is being come is coming in for you over there uh, but there's also a lot of travel a lot of communication meeting a lot of people a lot of networking coming in and you're going to be the person that's in charge of the situation it's going to bring in the money as well so success is coming in on that business front over there you're leaving behind something old you're making your mind up and you're moving on making a fresh start and it's certainly going to bring in a lot more coin it might mean that you'll have to work a lot uh later hours but it's going to be something that you enjoy um and uh, you know it's going to uh, settle your financial problems that you've been going through as well uh but make sure during this period you just don't overstretch your your resources be very cautious